Okay, so so we're gonna soon we're gonna practice uh, what I, I call it feel the feelings, but that's just a that's just a label for it. Um, so feel feel the feelings is just allowing. Okay, I'll sort of speak to everyone at the same time. So whatever is going on right right now for everyone, there there will be an exp now if if there are. Here's the thing with feel feelings. It's letting go, in a nutshell, it's letting go of identifying with thoughts and just allowing the experiencing of what is to be experienced. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on talking about it so you get it. So the easiest way to start it, even though ultimately life you know, uh, I have to I have to use words to explain actually what is something beyond words. So let, let's use words, so it's not actually accurate. So, if you, do, if you let go of your thinking, whatever thoughts are going in your head, just let it go right now, and be aware of what feelings are being experienced. Now, a feeling, a feeling could be like, there could be pain, it could be emotional pain, it could be physical pain, it could be anger, it could be a sensation in the stomach, it could be a sensation in the head. So let go of your thinking and become aware, tune in, to what is actually being felt right now. So that's number step one. So hopefully everyone's doing it with me while I'm speaking. So you're trying to let go of your thinking, forget thinking about, you know, what if you haven't done your shopping later on, just let that go for the time being, or if there's a disaster. What's being felt in the body? And then just allow, allow yourself to experience that. Now, whatever is being experienced, Let's say, let's say someone's got pain in their stomach. Uh, whatever is being experienced, just allow yourself to fully experience that feeling. Now, here's the thing. So I'm going to put it down to slow motion. Most people, when they start this practice, have an addiction to thinking. So when they try and feel or experience the energies or the vibrations that are being held, you know, like you, you know, they, you could say um, that the ego is trying to make a label or a story of what's going on. So if you let go, so as soon as you, now here's, here's the practice. So let's say, for example, everyone will have something different, but let's say there was a pain in the stomach. So immediately, um, what I'm saying is just, for the duration of the five minutes, just be with that sensation and don't think. Now that's, what will happen for most people is like, you'll be aware of it, and then immediately within the next second, you'll be in a thought. And that thought will, will start to say, well, I haven't done my shopping. So really, while you're, while you're attached to that thought, you weren't feeling. Because you were in your head. You were thinking. So here's the practice. You have to, like, as, you're, as we're doing the practice, you have to, like, cut the time that you're in thought before you cut it and go back to the feeling. So, like, as a, new, as a newbie, you might be like, okay, oh, I'm aware there's a pain in the stomach. Because being in your thoughts is like an anaesthetic. You won't actually, sometimes, if you're in a racing head, you won't actually be aware of what's been experienced or felt. So as you go in, you, go, you, you try and feel in, tune in, and you go, oh, I haven't done the shopping. So cut that thought, go back to the feeling. Then you'll realize you're, you're with the feeling. And then within a split second, another thought will have come. Uh, you know, like, I forgot to put the cook. You know, again, cut that thought as quickly as you can. Go back to the feeling. So you're, in this way, you're reducing the amount of time that you're thinking and spending more time feeling. So each time you do it every day, you should be spending less time in your thoughts, more time in the, in the feeling. Now, feeling, you know, feel the feelings. Actually, it's not feelings, but they're energies. They're not energies, actually. They're vibrations. They're energetic sensations. <coughs> also... Ultimately, and now we're going into, into something more esoteric, actually you don't feel the feelings. Because if you let go of the idea of thinking, thinking is a me. If you, if you haven't got the me, then actually there's just the, the, the experiencing. And there's no one actually experiencing it. It's like the universe is experiencing it. Because as soon as you let go of the thinking, the idea of a separate I dissolves. So it's just allowing. So here's the thing. Like I come from an addictions background. What is addiction? Addiction is constant thinking and not feeling. Constant numbing out with behaviours or numbing out with thinking so that you don't have to feel. 
what is the feeling? Where did the feelings come from? Well, if you've been numbing out on thinking and addictions, then you'll have a reservoir of repressed energies. Like you might have a tank of fear, a tank of pain, a tank of guilt, a tank of shame. So as you let go of the addiction to thoughts, all of these repressed energies, they may come out you know, through various physical symptoms, or pains, or aches, or fears, or guilt, but you know, they'll come. It may change, you know, the areas of these things may change, but just go with it, just feel, feel it out. And what you're doing with this process is just burp, burping out all those repressed energies. As the energies go, um, if you, you know, trust that as you let go of these energies, whether it's fear, pain, anxiety, grief, you know, your vibration will shift and you'll have a, di a shift in perception you know, around how you see things and what they are. Okay, so I think that was a good explanation.